So, good afternoon. I'm going to raise that. I probably am in it, but it looks low to me. So, hang on there. Evidently, the brain food <laughs> hasn't kicked in yet. I thought once I ate all this brainy food, I wouldn't have to ever adjust the camera again. I just have it right. Well, so much for hope. Anyway, oh, I wasn't going to say that word. As it's going in the 80s, I thought I'd thank everyone for helping me try to find a new blender. But you know what? My son came over and looked at the whole thing. It wasn't the motor. The motor still sounded good. It just wouldn't engage in this little whatever center metal piece was. And so the blades wouldn't go around and wouldn't do anything. Well, we just put a new one on. And I had a new one. So, and it worked. So I used it today. So anyway, thank you very much. But I did find out a lot of you put Vitamix at the top. I probably wouldn't have bought it just because of the price. You know, if I was younger, starting out, maybe, maybe I would. But actually, when I was younger, we wouldn't have had the money to spend on something like that. So I'm not sure if I ever would have got my Vitamix. But also, I found out some of you really like the Oster, the one I have. And after all, it is 35, or close to 35 years old. So I would say it's a pretty good blender, and it's still working. So, the other thing is, yesterday when I made the tahini dressing, and I called it my plain Jane dressing, well, after I made the video, naturally, I dressed it up. I put some garlic in it, and I put some coriander, which goes very well with sesame seeds, and when you grind up coriander because it has a little hole on it, lots of times you wind up with that little hole. Well, you just sift that off. And so I sifted the ground up spice in there and I put the garlic in there. And then what I did, I had some leftover chicken breast and I poured some of that on the chicken breast like a marinade and then I sauteed up some onions, red pepper, green peppers, and some ginger, and then put that chicken in there, and we had green beans, and asparagus, and a, a salad, a green salad, and I found out I just couldn't eat this. I should have started out with a salad first, I guess, but by the time I'd eaten, and I'm trying to really um, do the protein right, I just was too full and so the salad was saved for one of my snacks but now we've come to snack time again today and I'm gonna take you out and show you one of the things I'm gonna eat for my snack and it's outside and it, it's warm out our indoor outdoor says it's 94 out but our outside thermometer says it's a little cooler than that and our indoor says it's 73 in, so we're doing good. So here we go. Come along with me. We're going to go out to my fig tree, and I hope, I know the sun is shining brightly, so I don't know how much glare that will make, but we'll see. It is bright. Oh, there's Maggie. I was out a little bit ago, and she just stayed out, and Tom's out too. Okay, and I think when on our way, we're going to go the long way ah, past our tomato plants. And I am not going to have ripe tomatoes on the 4th of Hey, don't steal my figs, honey. I got them all spotted. Did you have a fig? <laughs> he he may have stole my figs. He's taller than I am, so he can reach higher. Anyway, ah, I caught there. I want to show you. 
I'm gonna have tomatoes, but like I say, not on the 4th of July. That is a tomato. Last year, some of these tomatoes weighed a pound a piece. So when they, and there are lots of them in here. When I have ripe tomatoes, there'll be a lot of tomatoes and big tomatoes, which I've also heard that it's some of the smaller ones that are the most nutritious. Did you get any figs, hon? No. Oh, come on. We'll do it together. Okay, here is my fig tree. I'm going to see if I can get it where you can see it. Boy, I don't even know if you saw my uh, to tomatoes. I think I might go back and make sure. But do you think, do you think we'll show up on this glary, Sunny? Now I know there was a fig in here just waiting for me, uh, but I don't see it now. You sure you didn't eat one? Quite. <clears throat> you gonna come eat one with me? Here's one, hon. You should have a. <clears throat> a it, well, I'll pick you one too. You should have a sun hat on. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna get it. <clears throat> up. The big one isn't quite so ripe, but this one is. Which one you want? Hmm. Oh, this is pretty good, even though it's not quite so right. Mm. Okay, my quota is, is however many, I'm not even sure that's right yet. My quota is, is how many ripe ones, oh shoot, I'm sure it wasn't how many ripe ones I can find. Tom got one. This is mine. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, I had it on the table. Do you want another one, hon? Let me find another one. Then we'll have two apiece. Well, I'm gonna, if I can't find another one, this one's mine. Those are almost. Just, uh. No, but there was some okay. up high. I'm, I'm going in. Well, here. Take this one then, and I'll I'll stay here until I can find one more. There's got to be one more. Uh, I think here. Oh yeah. Oh, there. So that is my snack, all wrapped up in a nice little package and I even get exercise mm, with it. Every time I eat a fig, I think of those big Newtons. Mm. There. When I was a girl, it was a treat if my mother bought them which wasn't very often. <coughs> I was born at the time when people were recovering from the depression. <coughs> it actually took my folks until 1954 to really recover. And my mother's philosophy was you didn't save money on food, you saved money on other things. The food was what was going to keep you going. So my mother made sure we had good food, but she didn't count the noodles as good food. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but she had that thought that food had to be real and not come in a package even then.
Okay, I'm going to take you back because I'm not sure what I was showing you when I walked by my tomatoes. So let me just see. Oh, let, oh okay. Now, I bet those are showing. Yeah. And like, oh, that's a huge one. Can you see how big it is? But I hope they finally get ripe. We might have to have a lot of fried green tomatoes. But we'll just see. I think once they start ripening, they're going to do it pretty much all together. And then I'll have all of these big tomatoes. Oh. Okay. Enough for the sunshine. And I think we'll go back in. For one thing, now I need to get the rest of my snack. I'm going to have a little piece of cheese, which I always think helps my protect my teeth after I eat something sweet. And that will be my protein. And some of my carbos were in the fig. And I'm not, oh, I'll eat some of my salad. Let's see. So is that it? Vegetable, carbo, protein, fat. I've got avocado in the salad. Ought to do it. Oh, hot. So, with that, oh, and one last thing. Thank you for all the nice. I'm glad you like my stories. I guess that's what I want to say. Thank you for liking my stories. So, have a good day. We're back in the kitchen. And I'll see you tomorrow.